have you got a budget? Have you got a forecast? Have you got a cash flow forecast? Have you got a predictive balance sheet? Have you got have you got control of the numbers in your business? A lot of people I see, not that I work with, of course, but uh, before I work with them, maybe, don't have these sort of things in their business. They don't have a budget. They don't have a forecast. They have a, a guess, uh, sort of a finger in the air for a number and a sales and a margin. But the business is really not under control. So a couple of things. First of all, get a budget, do a budget, 12-month forecast budget. It's best guess, that's all it is. But even then, and then one of the mistakes I find people make with a budget is they either do it and they stick it on the shelf and never refer to it, or they don't then plan for the what I call the causes of things. So if you've got a sales forecast, for example, it's no good having just a sales forecast. You've got to have a plan for what's going to cause the sales. Is it marketing, lead generation, conversion rate, average sales value? What opportunities have you got? What's the lead time between inquiry to closing? What's the average order value? All these sort of things need to go into the mix because that's what generates your sales figure. And really, unless we plan for the causes of sales, they just become hope a bit. <laughs> And a surprise when we get to the end of it. And the surprise is sometimes in the quarter, we either hit the target or we are above it, which is amazing, but we don't know why, or below it and not so good, but we still don't know why. So doing a budget is a good thing. If you want any templates, I've got some simple templates you can use. Drop me a note. I'll happily send it over to you. Um, officially, speak with your accountants, obviously, but get a template done, simple, straightforward, but then plan for the causes of the sales, the causes of the conversion rate, the causes of the overheads, the causes of your GP net profitability. And that's going to be around things like your efficiency, your productivity, your pace of working, your pricing, your margins, all these sort of things contribute to deliver a set of accounts that match or improve upon on your budget. So plan and schedule for the causes of the numbers in your forecast, and that'll give you control and give you some sort of visibility and guarantee you're going to be able to make it work as well. If you haven't got a budget, get one done. You need a budget, you need a forecast, a cash flow forecast would be great as well, and uh, predict your balance sheet, have a look at it. So there we go, a couple of tips around planning, budgeting, forecasting, but really it's planning in 90-day sprints for the year, what are you going to do to cause the sales, to cause the margin and the profitability? Drop me a note if you want the templates. Have a great week. I'll speak to you during the week, those of us who are on the calls. Um, I hope that made sense. Thanks for the uh, participation. See you soon. Bye for now.